Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. Uh, today's session is about becoming the wizard. Uh, it's very, very different. You know, for me, I used to struggle to achieve. Anything that I wanted to manifest would always have to be a struggle. And so it, it always felt like the world didn't want me to have what I want. So that happened to anyone else. It's like everything I want, whether it was a, a different body to try to win at sports, to, you know, to succeed at school, everything I had to fight. And uh, it was always, you know, like to, to make friends or to, you know, have, have uh, different relationships. It was always like, you know, there was something that was against me. And it was very strange. It felt like that for a very long time. And, and I became very good at becoming the achiever, fighting it off, overcoming it and having it. But, it. but that fight never seemed to leave me. You know, I always had that fight inside of me. It was always something I had to fight, always something I had to overcome. And I was speaking with our inner circle group. Where are my uh, Chris Duncan inner circle tribe? Do we have some uh, Chris Duncan inner circle uh, tribe? I was talking a little bit about this uh, yesterday on our coaching session. By the way, those of you that are, you know, got a... Uh, you know, a little sparkle in your eye or are thinking a little bit about uh, the inner circle. Uh, we have an amazing four hour session in the inner circle happening uh, this Sunday. We're going to be unpacking and it's, it's a very small group, uh, but I think there's a couple spaces left. So, so do reach out. The, uh, this, this Sunday, we're going to be doing the dysfunctional failure patterns. And it's incredible to understand that every single uh, pattern, every single time where we create failure is done in a predictable way. Your unconscious, you know, doesn't create unique ways to create um, success or failure. It has patterns, it has grooves. And once you can witness it and notice it, you can literally just pull out of it. We have different patterns. We have one year patterns. We have seven year patterns, four year patterns, failure patterns, success patterns. Uh, we have ways of, of relating. And what's so interesting is the unconscious has a particular pattern. All it does is change the characters. So instead of having, uh, you know, a dad, it, it finds some other masculine energy to, to, to kind of let them down in a certain way. Or, or instead of having mom or brother or sister or that or friend or however, we, we just rearrange it in different ways. And then if we can't get it uh, externally, we find ways to create it internally. But it's the same bloody pattern. It's incredible. Anyway, uh, in a circle tribe, this Sunday is going to be amazing, and I hope that you're um, hope you're excited about that. But I was talking a little bit about this uh, yesterday uh, on the inner circle coaching. Is that the, the difference between when you actually uh, are going going for something uh, because you're really trying to get away? You know, when you put a fire behind you, it's very easy to orient your life. See, if there's a big problem in your life, like a big fire, if there's something there and it's hot and burning, you need to get away from it. Life is easy. To the unconscious, life is easy when there's a problem because it doesn't have to think, what's life about? What should I be doing? What's my purpose? What, what is it that life? What am I? doesn't have to worry about all that. All it has to worry about is there's a massive fire right there and it's hot and I need to move that way. True? So, so it's actually easier to have a life with a problem in it not very fulfilling and it quite gets, gets kind of boring to have to keep finding problem after problem after problem after problem. But I tell you what, it's, uh, it makes uh, orienting and it makes figuring out life much easier. Isn't that interesting? It actually makes life easier uh, to the unconscious, but in the long run, it's just hard and, and not fun and chaotic. But for uh, what is life about, it's quite easy. Life's just about trying to get away from this big, scary thing that's there. The problem is, is as soon as you move away from the fire, the heat's not there. So nothing's burning you. So then you, you end up in this place. Well, now I've got the money and I've got the relationship. And I, well, what do I do now? And the brain only knows one thing, create another fire. And what it does this time, it goes, you know what? I'll make the fire even bigger because I got this far away and I started to have no motivation and I like the feeling of motivation. So it looks for another problem, another one, another one. Uh, where's James Wellington? I've got James Wellington. How many of you are getting coached by James O, uh, legend? And uh, he, I think he's on this call. A friend of his, we were, we were looking at a post on Facebook the other day and uh, this friend said, you know, how many of you for 10 years have been doing healings and you've tried this and you've tried that and you've done all of these different healings and you're still haven't got it. 
well, now you just need my healing. And gosh, we laughed. We laughed at the naivety of that idea that, that uh, they haven't realized that after 10 years of, of trying to find healings, they've just created an identity that there's always something to be healed. So interesting, hey, interesting. Anyway, so, so as, I, as I made the shift, I used to live in this other structure. And as I made the shift to be the wizard, uh, you know, as I was in that shift, I first tried to do a few things. So I was first the, the achiever, the struggler, the striver, just overcome, 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 try to push, 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 push. And, you know, that worked for a while. But, but after a while, I realized, you know, this is burning me out. So I tried something else. Uh, I, I, I realized that, you know, I'm burning out. I, you know, why do I keep doing this? What's going on? And so then I tried the other thing. I tried just surrendering. I'll just surrender. I'll leave it up to the universe. I'll let, I'll let it just, I'll just surrender. I'll, you know, I'll choose it. I'll manifest. I'll tune in. I'll get the essence of it. I'll embody it and I'll let it go. If it's to be, it's to be. You see? And I didn't, and, no, and nothing happened. I just felt good. You know, I was, I was actually, when I was doing it, I was living out in the wilderness in, uh, in, uh, in Brighton, in the south of the United Kingdom, just waiting for it all to happen. And, you know, strangely, you know, not much did. And so then I tried something else. Oh, well, you know, maybe it's a mixture of it. So what I tried to do is I tried to do some cool psychic tricks. I thought that if I listened to a Joe Dispenza meditation and walk around uh, or, or sit there and, and, and shift internally, and if I did that enough times for an hour and a half in space, then all of a sudden the world would be the way I wanted it. And, and, I, and I soon realized I couldn't actually trick the universe into giving me what I wanted either. And so I tried lots of different things. So I tried healing. I tried that. I tried surrendering. I tried overcoming it. I thought maybe I've got challenges. I've got problems. And then I, then I got some, some really cool training. And obviously uh, our training, and, and I love saying this to everybody else, uh, magnetic mind is simply the most uh, advanced the most advanced training. Oh, hey, hey, Stoya, I just, just got your message. It just came to me. Uh, Alexi, can you reach out to Stoya? I'm not sure what it's about. Uh, but remember, guys, if you type to just host and panelists, it only goes it only goes to me. Uh, Alexi, let me know if you got that, or I'm sure I'm sure you did, or, or uh, me or someone. Uh, this is, thanks, bro. This is the most advanced, because once you realize that creating has nothing to do with you, and the way you are, you get to create it. You, you get to live in a different place. And so today it's called becoming, um, becoming the wizard. So I became the wizard. And as I became the wizard, I realized that uh, alchemy teaches us to rise above the chaotic mess, to engage fully in a choice that we want to see manifest just because we want to see it manifest. I understood that creation is an action and it's a cycle. I realized that I needed to focus I needed to receive inspiration, inspired ideas, and I needed to take action for it to manifest. I needed to realize that as I take action, I make failures, I get learnings, and I reevaluate, and then it becomes. But what I realized, it wasn't about me changing or being different. It was actually about my consciousness being engaged in that which I'm creating fully in the end result. And what I mean by being engaged fully in the end result is you're doing it for your own reasons, not because someone else is going, you're doing it for you and you have the courage to go for things that you want and figure it out. Write this down. Creation is an action and it's a cycle. Creation is an action and it's a cycle. First, it's there's germination. Whenever something's created, I want you to imagine uh, you know, a seed turning into a forest. There's a natural law. If you hold up that beautiful little seed, there is all the potential for it to be a forest. But in order for it to become a forest, if you just put it in a jar and put it on the shelf, nothing's going to happen. So the first part of creation is germination, is the seed starts to germinate, it gets, it gets put somewhere. Okay, it germinates, it starts to grow some, grow some roots, it gets what it needs. There's action there, it needs to be planted, it needs to have the right soil with the right nutrients in it, it needs to have sunlight, it needs to have water. Then there's assimilation. And so the seed assimilates into whatever it's there to grow into. So it assimilates. This is the same with every creation. First, there's germination, then there's assimilation. 
as it assimilation as it assimilates it turns into what it's meant to become and then there's completion then there's completion in every completed creation is the seed of the next creation so as the first seed grows into the tree or the plant or whatever the natural law is as it completes itself there is the seed that creates the next self and then the seed you don't need to know what comes next what comes next is held in the you that you become by completing the current creation Being a wizard is being in alignment with these natural laws of creation, focusing on it, taking action, realizing you have all the potential of the forest, but right now you've got to grow the tree, right? You've got it. Maybe you're starting a digital marketing business. That's not your end result. Your true end result might be over there to have like, you know, whatever type of business, to, you know, but right now you need to do this inside of that skill fully assimilating that skill is the seed of the next one and then the next one and so there's this cycle germination assimilation completion rebirth germination assimilation completion rebirth and it's a cycle it's a cycle so so being a wizard you you understand that you're not the tree you're the creator of it. You're the gardener of it. You're not the tree. Same with everything that you want to create, but you must be all in on having the forest. You must be there. You must tend to it. You must look after it. You must water it. You must plant the seeds. You must, you know, uh, uh, make sure that, you know, predators don't come eat the tree when it's a set, whatever, right? But whatever, you have to look after it. You have to be a custodian of it. And so the seed has all the potential. I want you to get this. Your creation right now has all the potential. It might just be this little, this little thing. It has all the potential, but it cannot realize that potential without the action, without the nurturing, without the protection, without the allowing it to unfold. So what I realized is that everything I was creating wasn't about me. If I have a forest, I'm still the same person who planted the first tree. It's not about me coming something else. It's not about anything else other than choosing to have a freaking forest. And this is where I believe all the half truths have got it wrong is because I can be anyone I want to be and have a bloody forest. You see that I can do it because I'm the creator of it. Well, that's the same with money. It doesn't matter who you are. You can be someone who chooses to plant the correct seeds, take the correct actions and manifest it. You can be whatever whatever gender whatever sexuality you can be hard worker you can be lazy you can do whatever you want but you just must take the correct action creation is an action sport and it's a cycle so you must not make it personal we make creation so personal because we think oh if i have a multi-million dollar business then i will be someone else or then if i have a body like this then i will be this if i have this then i will be this then i will be this it's like no you won't you'll be the you that is now the lie that we tell ourselves is that if we create something then we'll be different which only then reinforces that we're not someone who can have it and creates a counter counter uh focus in the field and so you must not make your creations uh, um, personal. Why would the farmer or the gardener make it personal? Oh, look how amazing I am. I have a forest. No, you just got a forest. You see, the painter, he doesn't change. She doesn't change when she paints a masterpiece. So he creates amazing sculpture. He doesn't, doesn't, doesn't change. The lie we've been told is focus on your why. No, just, just focus on what it is. You focus on the what. <laughs> Don't focus on the why. Just focus on what you want to create and do it for you. You know, you're just doing it. It's not about you becoming something unless that is the creation of you becoming something, of course. It's not about you, but it's about you being fully engaged with your creative focus. It's about you choosing it and loving it for your own reasons and being powerful. When you, when you focus on your creation, you engage in the end result of that creation. And you take the action and then you make it happen. And then you just go and then you go for a walk with your loved ones. And then you go back and you take the action, you're doing it and you're creating it. And then you go, you know, you go off over here and 
you know, you have a, have a nice time at the beach. You're over here creating, organizing everything else. And yeah, yeah, you know, you still got to go to that that silly court thing and you know you still you know you still got life you still got things the creation and you are separate the creation and you are separate so what i was working on today was was working on watching the creation unfold and i created a fun little process uh that that we'll, we'll take we'll go through today and that the process is is as the thing is creating and you as the creator risen above it the current reality is always moving and updating. It's never static. Does that make sense? It's never, it's never static. It's never static. The current reality is always shifting. It's always updating until it truly, truly, truly manifests. And so whenever I think about like my creations, there's always quite a few things that I find really interesting is that we have like a desired reality out here we have our big current reality here, and we're going to go this way. You guys can see that, yeah. But this is just today. Tomorrow I'll be here, then the next day I'll be here, then the next day I'll be here, then the next day I'll be here. And one day I will finally hop to each of these little current realities and then be in that desired reality. I'll finally be having what it is that I love. Do you see that? The current reality is consistently updating. It's like it's being pulled. That's why we call it magnetic mind. It's like being pulled. It's like you're throwing that out into the, the ocean. And, and it's like, you know, uh, if, if you've ever been pulled down by something heavier sinking into the ocean, you just got to go with it. There's no, there's no way to stop. You're just going there with it. Right? So it's not about you. Even your body isn't about you. If you want to create a different body or to, to have a healing that's not you because you're not your body. You are the super conscious creator. You are the energy inside the body. So even if the desired reality is the body is different, it's not you. You're still going to have the same life. You're just going to be unhappy in a beautiful body. How are we going today? Is it a good start? Being a wizard is about understanding how thoughts turn into things. Be, having a magnetic mind is about tuning into this power that is already a magnet, but putting it on what it is that you want. Your mind is already a magnet. It's already holding together everything that's in your life. It's already a magnet. Do you know how powerful it is for you to have a magnetic mind that no matter what you do, you keep getting the exact same experience? Can I get a wow? If you've had the exact same experience, in spite of every other experience that you have, you have available, somehow you're repeating the same experience. That's an impressive magnetic mind. That's a powerful mind. How is it out of all possible situations, this is the one you can keep on finding? You can take someone, you can shift them cities, they'll find the same experience. You can change their jobs, they'll find the same experience. You see? You can take one person and fire them out of your business, put someone else in the business, and they'll find a different experience in the exact same job. Why? Because their mind is searching for safety. It's searching for things to be the same. So it will keep finding the same experience again and again and again. So what the heck is this program about then? It's about taking that power which is an amazing power. I mean, how is it that you keep, are able to keep, and by the way, I had this lady I was talking to the other day. So Chris, every single time that I get into a relationship, the, the man starts out really great and then he turns into a narcissist. And I went, wow, that's powerful. How is it out of all the men available that you're able to just keep finding that one? That's fucking incredible. Let's use that power, but maybe with a couple different uh, choices. That's power. How is it that like every time that you go to, to start a business, you can create a health challenge? Wow. How is it at this time, 
you're able to do something that is literally a mirror to something you've experienced before, just different people, different thing, different problem. Instead of, instead of it being your skin, now it's your, now it's your, your weight or, or now it's a, a thigh. It's, it's always nice, but it's, it's basically the same thing, just a bit different. How is it, whenever you go for that, you find the same thing to stop you? Structure, baby. Structure. But the, the biggest thing to understand is that that is a powerful, powerful system. That is a powerful, powerful system, isn't it? I mean, what an incredibly powerful system that out of, out of every single possibility, it can keep finding the same thing. That's a powerful system. And this is why you're not broken. That system's incredibly powerful. You just never got given uh, the user manual uh, to update it. True? Until now. Until now. That system is amazing. And it's got nothing to do with you. It's a system that you designed because the you is bigger than the system. And what's interesting to consider is if you think about your upbringing that helped you to create that system, okay? So, and just think about your upbringing. And then, you know, just grab like a little, you know, pair of scissors and think about it like a movie film and, or, or maybe just one of those little sharp knives and just cut you out of that, cut you out of that family system. Now, let me ask you this. If you put somebody else into that family system, do they end up basically creating the same structure as you? Of course they do. Of course they do. Isn't that that they end up creating the exact same structure? Because it's not, it's not that they create the exact same system. They had to find a way to stay in the exact same family. It's not you. You're the conscious that came into that experience and had to find a way to survive it. So again, you're the consciousness that came into that, into that family system and had to find a way to survive it. You put any consciousness into that. You put any, uh, you know, you guys ever made like jello or jelly and there's like those molds. You know, jello and there's like a mold and you can make it look different shapes. You guys ever done that? It doesn't matter what water, what, what, you know, what crystals and, you know, you put it into whatever mold, the, the mold does it, the structure does it, it turns into the same thing. And, and that's interesting. That just popped into my awareness just then. I want you to think of your family structure like a mold. Your consciousness was this completely open, free thing and it got molded a certain way. Now you don't say that the, the jello and the crystals, you know, before you put it into the mold, you know, is the mold. You see that? That's a really good metaphor. Make my certain we should hold on to that. It's a good one. It, it just mold it in a certain way. What's what's a melded? What's a what's the past tense versus that mold? Melded it. Hmm. Well, I don't even need to know. You guys know what I mean. It molded it. <laughs> molded. There you go. Uh, that's right. Yes, uh, I am. I'm still actually your magnetic mind trainer, making up words as he goes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, can build a twenty million dollar business. Doesn't know the past tense version of mold, meld, molded. <laughs> All right. So, so basically, uh, end of session. Uh, we're all molded. That's what it is. <laughs> No, we're all molded in a certain way because of because of whatever that is that is that it creates that. And the, the interesting thing to consider with it is whatever went into that system would have ended up the same way. Think about that. Whoever and whatever went into that system would end up the same way. Give me a yes if you get that. It's not about you. That system would have created anyone to have the same structures, beliefs, circuits, they would have, it's not you. You 
were the you before you came into that system and created that structure. So now here we are over here and we're realizing that this is not actually me, but I'm still playing out that same system because I am a powerful creator and how I learned to say stay safe created my patterns and ways of being. And the thing that created it is not broken. And it's actually incredible. And it creates ways of being. And it will keep finding a narcissist again and again and again to try to finally replay something and overcome it. Or it will keep on finding a way to poverty or frustration. Some people can find frustration because they're making too much money. <laughs> made so much money no one cares about me <laughs> i had a good i had a good laugh with my friend about this this morning our system is designed to <laughs> to to always find the same thing jay always find and that's powerful so as we create we have to make a choice and the choice is just something we would love to create. And as soon as we tune into this thing that we would love to, to uh, uh, create, our unconscious realizing that it's outside of its current mold does whatever it can to try to keep you in the same mold. And you fight and you kick and you push and then you get over to it and there's just so much tension in your body it's fighting this freedom it's it's kicking up challenges all of that and then we just let it go update and you can have it because it's not you you can have it any way you want Anything you choose to create, you can have it. I was saying this the other day and someone said to me, but Chris, I choose to win the Olympic gold medal for 100 meters. They said, and I can't have that. I'm in my 60s. And I was like, wow. You win. But then I investigated a little bit more. I said, but if you were to win the gold medal in the Olympics, what would that give you? And he said to me, well, glory. I said, and what else? He said, I, I, I'd feel like I went for something and I won it. I said, well, you can definitely have both of those things. Hmm. You can have anything that you choose to have if you allow yourself to have it. So here we are here going for this desired reality. Here we are here in this reality, creating this reality. We're going to make it about us. Realizing that it's actually not about us. We rise above it. We become the super conscious and we can. And we can have it all. So we're going to do a fun uh, little exercise here. So it starts out by us realizing what it's like when we're a powerful creator, a powerful wizard. Because a wizard realizes that they were always the wizard. And uh, this wizard that we were, the superconscious creator, created the structure that we're living in right now and if you were the one that created the structure in right now well surely you still have that ability to you know tear down that childish fort and build a real house the one you'd like to live in as an adult because some of us are still you know this big growing up adult and we're still sitting in this little girl's dollhouse going, this ain't give me what I want anymore. We get to create something bigger. 
Or why did my sisters put me in a dollhouse? <laughs> So you already are the wizard. You already are the creator of it. And you know this, whether whether you choose uh, to realize that we all get given gifts, we all get given structures, we all get given ways of being. And it doesn't matter which religious teacher that you tell us, they all say that, you know, we're like them, that I'm like you, you're like me, we have it within us. We are the creators, the kingdom is within. It's all the same stuff. When you realize it's you that gets to be the one that creates it, then you realize you're the powerful creator of it when you truly receive it. 